Just the closer walk with you. Great, my God, if you please. Daily walking close to thee. Let it be, dear Lord. Let it be. It's Sunday morning to you all. It's one of them songs that my grandmother taught me. How y'all doing today? Hope you are living your semi-best life or your best life under the circumstances. And I want to say good morning to you. Good evening. Whatever side of the diaspora that you may be on, I want to welcome you to sit in and hold the court with me today. I really appreciate it. I appreciate it so much. I want to thank some of my new subscribers, by the way. Uh, thank you all for being out there. Thank you support, for supporting the channel. You don't know how much it's appreciated. If I could encourage all my new listeners to do anything, if you can't, Physically donate to the channel or join the channel. Y'all know um, Patreon is where the lives are um, pretty much. That's where we really go deep. But what I wanted to say is that it don't cost you nothing to watch the commercials. It don't cost you nothing to hit the like button. And those are some of the things that I'm hoping that you would participate in, family. I really appreciate your presence, but you can do a little bit more. You can help these algorithms by um, at least like the video. Or hell, you can dislike it. I don't care. Just give me some kind of feedback. Participating in um, the, you know, in the, uh, 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 channel's content. If you have anything that you would prefer and want me to speak on, I mean, I do that too. I do that too. And you can always shoot me an email. All of that information is in the description box. And um, I will be glad to have a conversation with y'all about you know, something that, um, you know, you deem necessary. Nothing would make me feel better, actually. So, I just want to say that to y'all before I start this content so we can step up our uh, game. Oh, oh, oh. Let me, let me say good morning to you, Nessie J, Irene, um, Kirsten. Good morning to you. What about Bibi? Vivian, and I appreciate your presence. Scarlett, I appreciate you. Thank you for being out there. Stoner and uh, Raymond, I want to thank you all for joining the channel. I really appreciate it. And I hope that your participation is, is a lot because it's really needed. Okay? So thank you all very much. Let me get right to the story because the story is pretty heart wrenching, and um, I hate when I get to these stories, and that's why I have to do them. But it's very important because when you have small children, and y'all know I'm all about the babies, it's like Wu Tang, we for the kids. Because most of us have screwed up our lives or done whatever with our lives that, <laughs> good or bad. Um, these babies don't even have a, a judgment on them yet unless you put it on them, okay? And sometimes our babies get a hold to our crystal meth. Sometimes our babies are getting a hold to our cocaine. 
Sometimes our babies are getting a hold to our alcohol. Whatever carelessness and uh, just unparenting skills that the parent is participating in, the little baby, the little child has to bear the consequences. You know, and I was listening to, I think it's Karen, I can't think of her last name right now, but she comes on Sirius uh, Radio, and they did a very good show. I think it was her, and it was somebody else, I can't think uh, of the name. But they did a show about the disconnect between young people and why it seems like it's like two or three generations of lost And they summed it up, and I thought that the definition they gave was just so, was so on point. And what it was is, they said, um, we've had like three generations out of the agriculture that's, that's not associated with picking cotton and all that stuff. We've got three generations who... Um, our babies that made babies. So there was no really older village or older person in the village to help along because there was no wisdom to guide. Okay, and I often speak of this because um, when you have children and you don't make a commitment, and this is for male especially. And if you don't have no thought, no care where your seeds, your pyramids are laid in place, people that's going to represent you, when you go, somebody's going to say, oh, that's John's son, or that's Mary's daughter, or whatever the case is. And if, you, if that doesn't mean anything to you, why are you procreating? And you don't have a good reason. And so what you are producing from that type of environment and that type of relationship is irresponsible, too young, too far behind the eight ball to be an effective parent. So this story is about Tanner. Four-year-old Tanner Clements was found unresponsive at his spots of only Virginia home. Well, that was a real good uh, slave county. Spots of Amy? Oh, yeah. Anyway, in, uh, unres- at his spots of Amy, Virginia home on May 6th, he was taken to the hospital all alone where the poor baby died two days later. His mother... Antoinette Clemens told police that only one gummy contained CBD was left when her son accessed the jar. Police seized the empty jar and learned that the gummies contained THC, extremely high levels, which caused the death of the child. She told local news that she thought she had bought CBD gummies and had no idea what she bought actually paint contained THC. But you left it in a situation in a position where your child can get a hold of you. On October 17th, a Spotsylvania County grand jury indicted her and she was arrested on the 20th. The mother, name is uh, Dorothy Antoinette Clemens, and she's 30, old enough to know better. Uh, told the police again that there was only one in the jar and they were CBD. Now, after her baby is dead, she's still lying about the situation. The mother left a post to her baby. My littlest love, it's time for you to take a walk. I can't go on with you. Your nanny will watch over you and guide you until I can make it there. 
just know that you will be missed and loved always and forever. Little Tanner um, looked like he liked to eat. He got some junk in his hand right now, look like. This is awful. On May 7th, she wrote on Facebook, my little was okay, I just read that. His, his obituary, the family wrote, Tanner, Tanner was an amazing, energetic, fun-loving little boy. He loved superheroes, being outside, playing hide-and-seek, and making everyone laugh. He is survived by his older brother, Taylor. Before she was charged, Clemens told the uh, USA TV that she thought she had bought the gummies from a Fredericksburg store and had no idea what she bought actually contained THC. She said the boy suffered from a cardiac episode and reported that it was determined that her son had something odd with his heart. You know, this is why, you know, I guess these gummies um, are a little scary at times because, you know, you're consuming something that you can't get out. Um, and, you know, which is a little different than smoking. I mean, because I guess if, you, you know, if you're smoking, you know you had enough, you'll start freaking out and lay down, you know, get sweaty palms and stuff. But I guess if you're constantly consuming something, or if you bite it into eating it into something and it doesn't take effect hours later, to me that's rather scary. So I'm not a big fan of edibles. Okay. Anyway, may you rest in peace, little baby. And um, you know he looks like a healthy little boy. He looks like he loves snacks, like he likes to play, just like she said. He loves to laugh and play. That the detective wrote that attendant. The attending doctor reported that, that if the boy had received medical attention shortly after eating the gummies, his death could have been prevented. On October 17, the Spotsylvania grand jury indicted her on felony murder charges. Wow. And she was arrested on October 20th. She has been held without bail and without bond, the Spotsylvania Sheriff's Office said in a statement on, posted on Facebook. Felony murder is an accidentally killing of a person in the commission of a certain felony. The child's death was ruled accidental, and the cause of death was Delta 8 terahydronocannabinol toxicity, THC, according to Lakeisha Johnson. And uh, she's the administrator for the Office of the Chief Medical Examinator. While some states have banned such products, others have worked to set limits on them. Wow. Virginia's political leaders grappled during this year's legislative session with how to regulate products with THC, aiming in particular to rein in the, the sales of items with Delta 8. But they failed to reach a consensus amid fierce pushback from the hemp industry. A state task force has been meeting to consider the options for next year's session. The Food Drug Administration warned last year that products containing Delta 8 THC have not been evaluated or approved by the FDA uh, for safe use in any context. The, from December 20th and December 22nd, the agency said that it received 104 reports of adverse events involving products containing the Delta-8 variant of THC. Natural Poison Control Centers received 2,362 cases of exposure to such products during the same period, including one pediatric case quoted with an outcome of death. So, um, for those of y'all who use the gummies, um, you have a responsibility to keep them away from your kids. I mean, you really do. Um, 
um, you have an obligation, you have a responsibility. Because if you don't, and you end up on the back end of something like this, I don't know if you've ever recovered from it. I really don't. I don't know if you could even recover from something like that. Being responsible for your child's death because of your carelessness, I wouldn't want that on my heart, Pete. I really wouldn't. So I want to know what y'all think about that story. To me, it's sad anytime I hear about some kid overdose on adult shit. I mean, really. Okay, with that being said, if you like what you hear, like, subscribe, and share the channel. I'll see you in the next video.